Welcome everyone to Comic Book Hall Review, Episode 6, Part 9. Uh, here we'll be talking about the regular show amongst other issues. So let's get started. I'm your host, Daryl Christopher, and uh, I welcome all subscribers, all people who love comic books, people bored at work, willing to watch anything, and people who just love random YouTube videos. So this is for you. Sit back and enjoy the show and we're going to talk about comic books. So here we go. We have the uh, regular show number 19. Uh, Mordecai finds having large arms is not working out for him. Uh, Rigby goes inside Benson's brain and a plethora of genies in a bottle descend upon them and not in a good way. We have the regular show number 20. Benson finds out Rigby wished a curse upon him which makes him as mad as hell. And everything somehow goes back to normal once the Genie Bottle of Darla is restored. So that's good. Here we have the Powerpuff Girls Super Smash Up number one. This is the crossover between the Powerpuff Girls and Dexter's Laboratory. Uh, Dexter's sister Dee Dee accidentally gets exposed to Chemical X and then disappears through an internet interdimensional portal in his lab. So very cool stuff. Here we have the Powerpuff Girls Super Smash Up number two. The Powerpuff Girls go to the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's a universe all its own to find Dee Dee and bring her home, but instead encounter Courage the dog, who is a bit uh, of a cowardly dog. Not really courageous, but his name is Courage. So you get the idea. Here's the title that I picked up just for checking out. We have Winter World number six. Uh, the journey of Scully and his 14-year-old charge win upon a cold, barren earth where humans are colder than the weather in their fight for survival. So, you know, more of that man's in humanity demand kind of thing. And recently they commandeered an MRAP vehicle, though their resources rapidly dwindle. So this is kind of like a, another post-apocalyptic tale kind of stuff. So very interesting. I'd give it about a 7.5 out of 10. Not too bad. Art's pretty decent in it as well. Next up we have the Fathom Kitani number one. Kiani and, his, and her sister Annika are reunited and team up to attack the USS Arkansas in retaliation for an attack upon them. So not a bad, not a bad issue here. It was worth checking out. Next up we have Revival number 27 for one day in central Wisconsin. Um, Officer Dana Cypress must deal with a situation where the dead are returned to life. And the highlight of this issue is probably the zombie or the reviver fish. So the dead have come back to life and things are going weird. So that's all you can take away from that. Here we have Legends of Baldur's Gate, Tyranny of Dragons, number four. Deniac becomes a dragon and all hell breaks loose. So that's all you need to know for that issue. Here we have another title that I just checked out just for the sake of checking out. We have Fight Like a Girl number four. And in round four, Amorosa takes on a giant beast monster. So very interesting. Here we have, I always like these steampunk titles. We have uh, Victorian Secret Steampunk Angels number one. Uh, we have a tale about a Goldilocks where... Um, it's steampunk, but she has to find just the right things, and uh, it comes down to it when she's ingesting certain liquids, finding the right balance. We also have uh, a um, steampunk Red Riding Hood, where Grandma lays the smackdown on the warpath, and Red Riding Hood takes on the big bad wolf, steampunk style. Here we have the Little Zombie uh, Summer Special number one. It's a more comedic take on the zombie genre about a boy zombie. He's kind of missing part of his skull on top of his head and his brain is exposed. And he looks kind of like a little bit like Macaulay Culkin, but uh, it's a little different. Not really my cup of tea, but it was worth checking out. Finally, we have an epic crossover here. We have Django Zorro number three. And uh, both Django and Zorro as his secret identity meet 
and then they meet as who they are uh, in the issue in later in the issue and they're quite impressed with one another so both are respective heroes so very interesting stuff uh, I kind of wish that I followed the series from the beginning but at least I got one issue to check it out anyway that concludes episode 6 part 9 of comic book hall review there's only one part to go uh, stay tuned for comic book hall review uh, episode 6 part 10 where we're going to be talking about Avengers related issues so I kind of gave you a little bit of cherry and icing and whipped cream for the final segment of episode 6. Thank you very much for viewing and uh, stay tuned for more. Take care.